welcome back to Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One and welcome 2022. <laughs> Taking a look back on 2021 and reflecting on all of the new styles and colors that came out, I thought it would be really fun to kind of review some of the new colors and then reveal my absolute favorite color new for 2021 coming up. Keep in mind that I purchased these wigs with my own funds. You can find them at Wig Studio One. Go below the video, expand the description box. I will attach a link to each one of the featured styles. You can take a look at the colors and pricing. We invite you to shop at Wig Studio One. We want to earn your business. If you have any questions for us, please reach out to support at wigstudioone.com. So we're gonna start today with the Beltresses Caliente in the color Dusty Rosa. Uh, Beltress has really hit some grand slams with some of their fashion colors, their designer colors. Really, really beautiful layered color, very believable and intentional. I talk about this quite a bit. I think that, you know, if you have the personality that you really enjoy a fashion color, you don't have to, to resort to costume like wigs. So Dusty Rose, that there's a lot going on in this color. That's what I love about the Beltress colors. They're so mysterious and beautiful. The Dusty Rosa begins with more of a medium rosé, um, and then you'll see some darker raspberry in there. You will also see some pastel pink and a hint of peach as well. That combination just makes a really nice tangy pink shade. It's a, it's a deeper pink than is the rose gold. Um, the rose gold pink was released in 2020, I believe, um, and is a much lighter, more shimmery pastel. This one just is a little more bold, a little more spicy, but it still enjoys that same light brown root. I think the rooting makes these colors. The rooting is so believable. Uh, this light brown root transitions throughout the entire style, and it just looks like you got a high-end color. Uh, without the damage and it's not going to grow out in a week so you have to redo your roots <laughs> i love these colors uh, fashion colors have just really come near and dear to me in the last couple of years now when i first started to wear wigs i could not imagine really wearing some of these colors i mean it was just it was all i could do to get used to wearing the wigs and adapting and adjusting my lifestyle and my mindset and getting everybody you know everybody else on board with that that you know, the fashion shades would have just been over the top at that point in time. But I mean, I've worn wigs now for going on seven years and um, everybody knows I wear wigs. I shout it from the rooftops, you know, this is a wig, this is a wig. And I do that because I really want everybody to understand that wigs can give you great joy. Um, no matter what the situation is under your wig, you could have a beautiful head of healthy, glorious hair. And wigs are still fun and acceptable and, um, essential in as an as an accessory in your wardrobe um, for those that have hair loss uh, of any kind they're a lifesaver they can absolutely transform your life as they did me so I am now finally embracing the fashion colors especially those from Belle Trust because I think they're so well done the next color I'm going to show you is also a fashion color by Belle Trust. this color is iced lavender latte isn't it beautiful a lot of times when you like pink you also like purple at least that's the case with me when i grew up um, my favorite colors were purple and pink purple especially everything purple my room just anything and that's kind of my uh my soul color is purple for some reason i absolutely love it and so when I, when I first started to get into the fashion colors or the designer colors, as, as a viewer pointed out, they kind of sound better um, than fashion colors. They're designer colors. It's absolutely true. And this iced lavender latte just really hit the spot in terms of a purple. Now, there was another color that was out by Beltrass, and it was called um, Purple Rain. Um, it was a a very heavy, bright, electric purple. And I wasn't as crazy about that one as I am this one. So this Ice Lavender Latte, it starts with a couple different blonde shades, more neutral and pale ash blondes. 
and then they've added in all of this purple. And the purple is really a, a blue-based, dusty-looking purple. So it just looks dusted um, as not to be too bright, not too in your face. It just gives a nice, subtle, dusty Miller look. This also features a dark, more of a dark ash blonde root. Um, really, 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 really believable. So this is another Bell Trust color that took the world by storm in 2021. It's featured on the Style Caliente. Again, this is Root Beer Float Blonde. Root Beer Float Blonde has captured my heart from the word go. Um, and actually, Root Beer Float Blonde was a bit of a surprise to me because as we were anticipating the release of this color, we just had that little digital color swatch to go by. And it looked really warm. It, to me, it looked like a like an 1824 uh, with, you know, more of an ash brown with some uh, pale, paler, lighter gold blonde highlighting there. Um, so I expected it to be a little bit warm, but much to my surprise and admiration, this Root Beer Float Blonde is more on the cool end of things. Now, there's still a little bit of sandiness to it um, that you'll see, but it's a combination of some ash blondes, some sandy blondes, some platinum, some neutral blondes. So it's just a very beautiful layered mix of blonde shades. And then that is on a medium brown root. I have a hard time remembering that this is a rooted color just because it transitions so beautifully. It's so believable, isn't it? And they bring that platinum highlight bandit right there at the front lace. I like the way they disperse the, the platinum highlights around the face. I think that really brightens it up a lot. Um, now, you can see some differences among applications of this color on the different styles. Oh my gosh, I have not had this one out of the box since the review this spring. This is Beltrice's counterculture in their new color called British Milk Tea. Now, British Milk Tea is a combination of some browns and some blondes, um, some light browns, some darker blondes, and there's a mix of some platinum in there, but it looks like it was toned all over with more of a violet type toner. It makes this a really kind of a dusty appeal and it really turns some of those platinum pieces into, um, into a white, like a, almost a purpley looking violet white. So depending on the, how the light hits this color, you might pick up on a little bit of that lavender cast. Now, I forgot to mention that there is a darker root on this one as well. Uh, just a shade darker than the rest of the color. So it does blend perfectly. Just gives a little more dimension there. Uh, but no obvious regrowth. Just really, really pretty. I'd like to move on to a couple different other brands just so we can get a sense of the new colors. Um, this won't be all of the new brands that had new colors, but only the ones that I have explored and enjoyed. So I'm going to leave on my counterculture here in British Milk Tea while I talk to you about our next color. Um, it's by Raquel Welch. Raquel Welch came out with Iced Sweet Cream this year, which is RL1622. Uh, and they also have a shaded version of that, which is only available in a couple of styles, and I have not explored that one yet. Um, so I had it on Editor's Pick. I no longer have that style, but I'll put up some video footage so we can examine this new color. Um, it just looks like a pure white almost on camera. And you would really have to get up close to see the dimension. There's a little bit of a sandy beige going through it and then the, um, the ash blonde, but then it's iced with almost a pure white. And that white just takes over. This is not a rooted color. So from a distance, it just looks like a striking, unrooted platinum shade. A lot of you out there really love those unrooted platinums, and I really think you would love this Iced Sweet Cream. I think I would like it better with a root, personally, and I have yet to explore that color uh, in the rooted version. Um, when it hits some other styles, I think I absolutely will. But that was another kind of a cool color that was released in 2021 by Raquel Welch, Iced Sweet Cream. 
I would also like to give an, an honorable mention to a new color by Renee of Paris last year called Watermelon R. Again, just my infatuation with pink colors. So the Watermelon R is a deep raspberry tone and then it's hot, heavily highlighted with a frosted pink, a frosted pastel pink. So you can almost see a little bit of a silver cast to it just because of all the frosting. I think it's really well done. Even the rooting is just a light brown, so it's not terribly stark and dark. So I think the Watermelon R is my favorite new color by Renee of Paris from 2021. I would really love to give an honorable mention also to Aesthetica. They came out with some new colors last year in their coffee collection. I had the opportunity to explore two of those. One was the Vanilla Macchiato on the Style Avalon, and then I had the pleasure of seeing the Iced Mocha on the, um, on the Orchid Style. So these balayage colors are very artistically inspired, more of a painted on technique. A lot of the criticism that I hear about these colors is that it just appears that there's a really dark, long root. Um, but again, I just really admire them for their artistic flair and the technique of these colors. So I really did enjoy both of these colors. Noriko came out with a couple of new colors for 2021, all on their fall releases uh, for 2021. So this first one is Seashell Blonde R, and it's on the style Harley. And there's only a couple styles that uh, the Seashell Blonde R is available on. And I really hope that they do expand this color because I really, really think it's nice. Um, it is a very beautiful, soft, creamy blend of some whites and platinums. So a, a cool white and also a creamy white or platinum in there as well. And that creaminess just makes it very, very soft, not at all harsh. And then the root is a medium brown. And I don't think this brown is as harsh as let's say on their Champagne R. I think their Champagne R is a, more of a harsh color with a, a more defined root line and it's very stark in comparison. So um, I really love this. I would, cannot wait to get it on the Style Meadow. Uh, by Noriko, but when I went to order it, it was out of stock. So I missed out on that one for now, but it's a beautiful creamy platinum blend or white blend. Now I'm gonna keep this on while I talk about another brand new color uh, release by Noriko. And uh, it's called the Desert, Desert Sand R. I had it on the Meadow style. I no longer have that style because I traded it in for the Champagne R. But, um, I do want to mention that this Desert Sand Art is really beautiful. It's a light golden brown with some uh, neutral pale blonde in there as well. Um, just a really neutral sandy mix overall. It's very, very nice. And that does have just a slightly darker root. So again, very nice soft transition from the root to the main body of the color. I very nearly missed this brand new color by Beltrass for 2021. I was putting away some wigs from my set and I came across this and thought, oh no, uh, this is a new release for 2021. This is Brown Sugar Sweet Cream on the color Nitro. This is an amazing color. Now the first one that I had it on was Bon Bon and that was back in January of 2021. So I'm not sure if it was released in 2020 but it just didn't come out on any styles that I could get a hold of until 2021. Um, but I'm going to include it here because it's gorgeous. Uh, the Brown Sugar Sweet Cream is a combination of some light, medium and dark browns, the dark brown root there. And then it's highlighted with more of a neutral type blonde shade. Um, it, the depth and dimension of this color is beautiful. It's, uh, it's just such a wearable brunette. I can't even get over how much I really love this one. In fact, what it reminds me a lot of is the, the Root Beer Float Blonde, uh, but just a little bit of darker tones in it. So kind of along the same lines, just darker. I did a video on um, going from summer to winter using some Beltrass colors. And I did the Root Beer Float Blonde for summer and then for winter, the Brown Sugar Sweet Cream. It's 
fabulous, absolutely fabulous. It's more on the neutral to cool side overall, but it has a mix of tones that I think are flattering on so many skin tones. This new color is by Amore, and the color is called Spring Honey Tea. It's on the style that was brand new also for 2021 called Emmy. Uh, just a beautiful, cute, sleek, short, layered bob, angled bob. And this color just makes it really nice for me. The Spring Honey Tea, we're all familiar with Spring Honey and Spring Honey R. The Spring Honey Tea is just a bit lighter and brighter, and I really enjoyed it over the summer. Um, it begins with a medium honey blonde. And that honey blonde is more on the neutral to warm side. And it's heavily highlighted and tipped with a light gold blonde. Now that gold blonde really warms it up. So this is firmly a light gold blonde and it is not rooted. And I really like this better than the spring honey. The, the regular spring honey to me just looks a little bit dishwater. Um, it looks a little bit washed out. I like something with a lot more drama, and this really brought the drama, I think, just because of the lightness and brightness around the face. It's really a striking, light, warm blonde. And I really do love it. New from Amore for 2021. So there's probably a lot of new colors that I have left off of this list, probably because I hadn't had the chance to explore them and get a proper appreciation for them. So I just didn't mention them. Uh, but these, uh, this list of color, new colors for 2021 are those that I've had a chance to take a look at and really, really like each and every one. But there is one color that stands out to me for 2021 and I've worn it the most and I've enjoyed it the most and that is and voila no surprises here right <laughs> you probably all could have guessed I had one viewer tell me Taz we know what your favorites are because your, your little eyes just light up when you're wearing it <laughs> It's like, okay, I better not play poker because that is my tell. <laughs> um, but it is no surprise that this Root Beer Float Blonde by Beltrus is my number one favorite color released in 2021. Beltrus is really sweeping the awards for 2021 in terms of new styles and colors. Uh, they've just really hit some real home runs and they continue, continue to come out with more styles, more colors, new technology. I can't wait to see what they do in 2022. But again, Root Beer Float Blonde is my favorite color of 2022. And perhaps of all time, I just, it's, ho it's so hard to choose for all time. I'll have to do a video on that at some point, like, over the years, what has been my favorites. So our style and our color preferences do change over time, don't they? Um, so that's why it's sometimes it's hard to pick and I might look back on this in 2029 uh, and say, wow, what were you thinking? This is my new favorite color. <laughs> we're allowed to change our minds. That is the beauty of wearing wigs is that we can explore, we can self-discover, um, I never, I, I, I can honestly say I never wear the same wig twice. And what I mean by that is that each and every time I put on a wig, when I select my outfit, my jewelry, the occasion, and I put on a wig and style it, um, it's new every single time because we make it new. Uh, and I know that this Root Beer Float, float Blonde, it just works with everything, every occasion, every style I've seen it on every single time.